Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another uh, little update uh, video this time round. Um, I've basically completed the three uh, figures that I was doing um, after, I, th I can't remember if I showed them in my last update, I, I might have possibly showed them at the end. Um, but yeah, I've, I've basically finished those guys. It took me um, a lot longer than, the, than I really wanted to. I mean, theoretically I should have really finished them at the, at the longest within four days, but they ended up taking me... Uh, a whole week um, so I finished them at last uh, I actually finished them yesterday uh, um, prop uh, uh, proper but I just finished off uh, sticking the uh, tufts and stuff on uh, and just doing a little bit of final uh, flocking um, just to totally finish them off this morning um, and now I'm trying to put a video up but uh, it's not happening uh, so far it's um, I think this is like my fourth take um, and I don't know why, but I seem to be getting worse at doing videos. Um, my last probably four or five videos, uh, I haven't been able to nail in one take. I've had to keep doing retakes, uh, which is a little worrying, actually. Um, maybe it's uh, me doubting myself uh, as far as quality goes. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, so what I've got to show you. Uh, so this is actually uh, the entire um, divisional artillery um, unit of the uh, first British Infantry Division, and the reason why I decided to get it all out is because I, the, of, of one particular figure, uh, and that is uh, this chap here, uh, who is the uh, foot officer for uh, this battery or B battery of the divisional artillery. And I thought, well, uh, that assuming that guy now sort of properly finishes that division. Um, all the divisional artillery, I'll actually uh, uh, get them all out and, and, and show you the whole thing uh, now that they're complete. Um, so, uh, now these guys um, are a little bit special in the fact that I've actually decided to model the uh, batteries, commanding officers, uh, which is something that I normally wouldn't do. Um, so, uh, for A battery, we have uh, Captain Sandham. And for the B battery, which of course is KGL uh, Horse Artillery, uh, we have a Major Coolman. And the um, the equivalent of the Brigade Commander um, is this chap here, who is a Lieutenant Colonel uh, S.G. Addy. S.G. Addy. S.G. Addy. So let's just show you a little closer look at this uh, foot officer. Because I think he's a really cool figure. Uh, so here he is, uh, on his, along with his battery of troops. Uh, front rank figure. Uh, very nice. Really, really like his pose. Uh, he's got his police on, uh, which matches up with uh, Coolman, uh, who's uh, who also has one. Um, fits in really well with the battery. Um, you, you might well, you might as well have, have thought that he was part of the part of the actual. Uh, crew, you know, he kind of fits perfectly in, um, and uh, I think uh, his addition uh, really adds something to the rest of the uh, crew and also the battery overall. Uh, so that is the uh, the foot officer added to this battery. Uh, now I will have to actually, I will actually add his name to the bottom of the base, uh, but I haven't got around to doing that quite yet. Uh, so that is the uh, divisional artillery. Let's get these guys out of the way. And I'll show you the final two command figures uh, that I also was doing along with that foot officer. Because uh, I kind of painted them all at the same time. Um, and... Uh, let's get these guys out of the way. Of course, I'll be going back up onto the behind the anti bow uh, protective shield uh, on the uh, second, uh, the second, well, I suppose it's the third shelf really, but it's the uh, the second shelf uh, with an easy reach of, of bow from my painting desk. Uh, and actually, when I was getting them down, uh, she was uh, eyeing up, uh, jumping up there, and <laughs> to quickly put the uh, the barriers back up uh, to stop her from from. Uh, from uh, designed to attempt to jump up there. 
Okay, so uh, let's bring in the other two figures that I, that I, that I also did. Uh, so here we have uh, two command figures. The British guy uh, up first. Uh, now this guy is supposed to be uh, Major General uh, George Cook. The head of the uh, 1st British Infantry Division. Uh, the figure is a front rank. And uh, yeah, pretty chuffed with uh, this figure. He's, I think he's a great command figure. Very regal looking. Um, nice uh, posh uniform. And um, a nice uh, standing horse as well. Uh, I went for a chestnut, but this time I went for the uh, the charred brown uh, look rather than the German camo black brown. Uh, I, th I think this is the, ho the first horse I've actually uh, properly used charred brown on, and uh, I've got to admit, I'm very ha very happy with it. It kind of makes a lighter sh a lighter brown um, bay. Very happy with how uh, the horse turned out. Actually, it's a really nice colour. I'll be uh, employing that a lot more um, over German Camo Dark Brown because um, along with my two Imperial Guard batteries, uh, a battery of guns that I'm waiting for, the, the two Warlord guns, uh, there's also a whole batch of uh, maybe three or four different types of brown uh, that I'm also waiting for to come in. Um, so uh, it's good that I've got managed to get hold of a charred brown because uh, my German camo browns, both of them, are actually starting to get uh, quite low now. Um, and although I'm probably not going to run out too, too soon, um, uh, if I was doing uh, horses, uh, which I've obviously still got a fair amount of horses to do, um, I, I, I could theoretically run out. Uh, so it's good that I managed to get that charred brown in. Uh, plus the fact it does make a really nice uh, bay horse colour as well. So that is the British... Commander out the way. The head of the 1st British Infantry Division. Uh, now that actually completes um, all the figures apart from my last battalion of troops now. So uh, that's, uh, I suppose you could call that a little bit of a milestone. Uh, now next up uh, we have a French uh, command officer, uh, command figure. Uh, now this chap is... Um, He's a little bit odd in the fact that he's kind of the equivalent of a brigade commander uh, but of a very large uh, number of troops because um, basically where Friant is the head of the division uh, this chap is the guy, uh, is the equivalent of the brigade commander so he's actually in charge of um, the brigade of uh, the Imperial Guard and the Middle Guard. Um, and let's give you his name. Uh, this guy is uh, General de Division Francois Roger. And again, he's a front rank uh, command figure. Gave him a Palomino horse. And uh, again, a similar sort of uh, base style to the British guy. Um, where he's kind of, instead of go, being, going down a road, he's sort of going down a trail. So it's a little bit rougher. Um, pretty chuffed with, with, with the way the bases come out for both of these guys, actually. They're, they're very, very basic. Um, I basically used uh, hot glue to uh, slightly build up uh, each side of the trail, uh, which worked out really well. I mean, you can see that this is uh, considerably lower um, than the... Actually, it's not not that low, but it's a little bit lower than the one that I used on the British guy. Uh, and I also kind of left the odd little patch uh, of glue showing, which kind of uh, make, looks like sort of uh, moisture. So it looks like a, like a puddle there, which is uh, really cool. Um, now that was actually uh, just found by fluke. Uh, I didn't plan on that uh, to be there. Uh, but it turned out cool anyway. And then we have a closer look at the figure. So he's a really nice position. Uh, Legion d'honneur. Very regal looking. He's got his uh, 
red sashes and his posh uh, horse saddlery. Uh, and I actually found out that um, these things here, uh, that kind of stick out the bottom there, uh, are actually pistol holsters, uh, which is something uh, that I didn't, I didn't realise. Um, I guess you kind of lift the flap up at the top there uh, and then pull out a pistol. So this chap, like most French command figures, has uh, uh, two pistols. Uh, now I'm not sure if uh, some of the British guys that, that have those, uh, they probably are, you know, they probably can't uh, pistols as well, although this particular British guy uh, doesn't have uh, that. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's the French command figure. Uh, I think he turned out pretty cool. It's a great uh, posed figure. Um, and uh, like I say, he now completes all of the uh, so all the command figures done for the um, my French Grenadiers division. Um, and now literally I am waiting for those two guns uh, to come uh, and that will complete these guys. Uh, and the British uh, literally one battalion of troops. And then for my cavalry divisions, uh, one unit of uh, light dragoons, uh, one unit of lifeguard, and uh, one unit of French Dragoons, and then that will actually complete uh, my project. Um, and uh, that's uh, that will be quite a milestone, um, because uh, that has... Uh, it's taken its time. It's taken its time. But yeah, that's it. So, uh, I'm going to cut this one here. Um, I, I was planning on going into a little bit of a waffle, but I'll leave that for the next video. Um, I've got some stuff coming in. Um, depending on how how long it takes to come in, I'm, I may well do a, a little haul video when it comes in. Um, uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, so it's a goodbye from me and goodbye from Bo, who's uh, sat there. Bye bye. <laughs> hello. Can I say hello? No? Okay, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.